uh, in this session we are going to learn about two class one max max is multiplexer here we are going to select the input lines using a selection bit okay okay where the max is used there is a multiplexer is used where the number of inputs are there we have to select one from them there the multiplexer is very fair very useful okay nothing but selection of something where the choice is there there we can use go with the multiplexer okay here two cross one multiplexer is nothing but we are having two input lines from two input lines we are going to select one has a output that is nothing but we are connecting one of the input line to the output okay that two lines will be selected by the max using selection line okay totally a max has a three input lines one is selection width and another two are the inputs depending upon the selection line the output will be selected output line will be selected okay this is the circuitry for multiplexer we know that this is these two are the logical gates nand and 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 this is a not gate okay a selection line is given for both the inputs one is for first line this is a selection line one and this is a selection line one for both the inputs this is for b input and this is for a input okay if selection line is low then a is selected for output if selection line is high then b is selected and output will be connected with the b okay now how this is going on we will see with an explanation here i am selecting first selection line a that is first input i am selecting first input see here it is low so i am connected a not get here then the selection line this line is selected okay here is a output is low so the output of the max is low as a input a is selected from by the selection line whatever the input of a will be the output of the max okay we will check how the output is connected with the input now we know that uh, operation of nand gate and and gate okay this is a selection line input and this is the input from the input of the max selection line is high input line is low as high and low input for a nand is output will be the high that is fed to the p type transistor p p mos transistor and a selection line is connected to the and gate and a not of the input is given to it and gate then the output of and gate is high as both the input both the inputs are high okay first nand gate output is connected to p mos and and gate output is connected to n mos as high logic is given to p mos then it will be in open circuitry so there will be no flow of current from the p mos transistor as there is no flow of current from p mos transistor there will be low voltage here and as a high signal is connected to n mos transistor n mos will be deactivated when a high signal input is given so there will be no there will be open circuitry between the and across the n mos transistor as these two transistors are open there is a no flow of current through the line so the output is low here if the input is high if the input is high the output of nand gate is low as the output of nand gate is low the input for the p mos transistor is low so the circuit the transistor will be 
acts as a closure switch. So this voltage will be flow through the transistor and the output of AND gate is low. So the NMOS transistor is also closed. As a result, we will get a high output from the MUX. Okay. Now we will check how the selection line B will be checked. Selected. When the selection line is high, the input B is selected for the output of the MUX. Same operation similar to the A. Input A. If the input output is low, the input of the B is low, then the output of the MUX is low. If the input B is high, the output will be high. Just similar to the A. Input A. This is the functionality of 2 cross 1 MUX. MUX is generally selecting the one of the inputs from the selection line by using selection line. Nothing but choosing one input by using a selection line. This is about marks. Thank you.